and welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we'll be looking on what is watermark in image. Okay, so basically one of my subscriber ping me out. Okay, that he want to extract. I don't know the use case. Extract the water watermark from the email body. Okay, and he was not able to do so. So uh, I thought let's give it a try, and I came across an API. So in today's tutorial, we will be looking key what is watermark in service now email okay or uh, what exactly it signifies and how we can extract a uh, watermark from an email body okay so first let's look into the definition okay what service now tells about watermark so by default the system generates a watermark label at the bottom of each notification email to allow matching incoming emails to existing records okay so basically uh, whenever outbound email goes right whenever a mail gets sent to your mailbox okay and you reply to that mail so there should be some unique identifier right using which service now will recognize ki, okay uh, this action or this uh, reply is coming for which particular email okay so for that this watermark is used okay each watermark includes a random 20 character string that, that i will be showing okay that makes it unique okay so it's just a unique identifier for the email okay just to get a hint which particular uh, email trail is going on okay so let's get jump into so what we'll be doing now this is my personal development instance which you can see on the screen so we'll go and we will look for emails first so i will go and into emails and I will just show you how exactly the watermark looks so I will just remove the filter um, all one okay and let's take some incident okay this one okay this is this email so this is the email body and it's and uh, this images are stored on sys underscore email table okay if you don't have that information okay and if you scroll down right this is a body I will not explain it over here and we will directly go to the previews so that you can see and identify the same when the email hits your outlook okay so if you do the preview email this is how the mail looks when it comes to your inbox right okay and at the last of the email you can see this ref message uh, underscore some some random characters right this is a watermark so this is a unique identifier so if you reply if you get this mail to your outlook okay and if you or mailbox okay and if you reply to this mail it will be like uh, it, it will rec it will match this particular watermark and then define the action based on this particular watermark on the target record which will be this 10039 incident now you can see this body and this body may be random right this uh, footer may also be the it's it's conditional right okay based on your preferences okay so how we can extract this watermark okay this was the question so it's pretty easy okay to do okay so i will simply for this particular thing i will just open this record in explore only okay so if you are not aware about what explore is so explore is uh, uh, what we can substitute to uh, script background okay and it's pretty easy to use that so what it will cre create some boilerplate code okay for you okay if you if you are not aware about explore so we, i have already created a video on the same you just refer that video and you will get all the information so as you can see i have done the glide record on sys email table and i did gr.get the society of the email which you are looking okay on okay and now we will extract the uh, you can put all kind of encoded queries and queries okay if you want to do it on a number of records okay i'm just defining the syntax through which you can uh, use it out okay now we got the record so the syntax is pretty pretty simple a lot of people are doing just splitting and all those things on the email body you don't have to do all those things okay so i will simply go gl.info and the syntax for that api is glide email watermark write email watermark and in and this is script include you can consider and it has a function called pass message number 
okay and in this you have to pass the email body so what it takes it it takes the email body as the input and it will give um the watermark as output you can say so it will be gia dot body why body because the email body gets stored you use it using a um, body tag okay so if i run this out okay now now you will be able to see this um watermark right so this is the watermark let's verify it out with the record okay so i will just copy this out okay and we will simply we will simply go to the base email record okay i will do the preview control f control v so as you can see we got this watermark over there pretty easy script right now let's try to understand how exactly this uh what we can say watermark is created okay so the email the watermark is consist of three part okay so <clears throat> the email watermark always begins with the ref okay to identify the label as a watermark okay after this identify the default label is 31 character length okay it consist of three things okay one is like msg you can see right okay msg one okay so it's a customizable prefix okay the default prefix is msg but if you set it through a property you can change it out okay so this is a default prefix then it then after that it will be a unique identifier for this record okay so auto number identifier so from here till here okay till here so it will be the numeric string identifying the source record such as incident problem or change okay so it's just a unique identifier you can say okay for for the record and after that after underscore is a character okay or oh, it's a random 20 20 character string okay so this is how this combination creates the entire watermark okay so you got the uh, so in today's tutorial we have seen what is watermark okay how we can uh, distinguish watermark into an email body what is the what is the structure of watermark and how we can extract the watermark using script okay hope uh, this video was for tushar okay i hope this this answers your query okay uh, if you have any queries or any doubts you can simply uh, email me out or you can reach out to me on my linkedin profile or you can simply drop your comments on this video i will get back to you okay with the solution for the same okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you